Um, we are going to go over a paper mache mask project day one. I'm so excited. First of all, I wanted to show you this footage of me washing my clothes first thing because you need to wear art clothes or old clothes when you're doing paper mache because it is goopy. Look at me. I am trying so hard to get the glue out and I'm saying don't make your moms angry. So um, make sure you check out the links below so you can see all this in re real time. First of all, there are several steps. You're gonna cut news strips of newsprint. You're gonna create goop. You're gonna tape down a layer to cover the table. And you're gonna create a base layer of your mask today. I will put a link to where I got this uh, mask mold below. We are actually going to build a mask this mask or any mask of your choosing on top of this mold that I got from NASCO. It's going to be awesome. So first of all, you want to cut one inch strips of newsprint. I'm using newsprint right now. My students are working from a newsprint roll because guess what? It's hard to find newspaper nowadays. It is. So um, make sure students, you give yourself time to cut plenty of strips of paper. Yes, you can use newspaper. That's what we used to do back in the old days, back in the 80s and 90s. But go ahead and make tons of strips of newsprint with some scissors. You got scissors in your supply distribution. So everyone watching this, just take some time to make tons of strips. It's actually kind of therapeutic because there's nothing like too hard about it. I'm just ripping some of the paper. The strips don't need to be perfect, and I put them all in one bag, in one area, so it's there and it's ready. Um, so I'm continuing to cut strips. We are going to make this mask in two different sessions. This is the first session today. Follow the playlist so you could see videos in real time, and you could see the session two video of when we add more things. Next step, step three, and is to make some goop, so you're going to need a one cup measure. Make sure it's one cup. You're going to scoop one cup from your uh, white flour. Make sure it's flat and you will put it into the mixture. My students got a plastic bag of two cups of flour. So you're taking one half of your bag. If not, ask your mom for one cup of flour, put it in the container. Then you're going to put it in two cups of water. So it's two parts water, one cup goop. You're going to take a spoon you got to mix it all up. And basically, one of the reasons you want to be in clean clothes, everyone, is because guess what? You are making glue. You are going to work with some slimy glue, and we're going to build this mask with flour and water. So you have to mix it up really well. So I'm getting rid of all the little blobbity blobs. You want to get rid of all of those lumps. You see, you see I'm mixing. Look how good I am at cooking because I'm mixing up good. You see all those fun air bubbles kind of like mixing up. If you hear screaming, it's because my son is throwing a tantrum upstairs. But keep mixing. Keep mixing. Mix, 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 mix. Okay, so I'm creating goop and you can see I get all those little blobs. Um, I'm getting rid of all those lumps. Now you're going to feel that, oh my gosh, I need to add more flour. Try to reduce the temptation to add more flour. You're going to be so convinced that you need to add a ton more, but you're fine. Okay. So just calm down. It's going to be good. Um, if you really want to add more flour, sure. Add a little more flour, but it should be fine. I used this measurement and it was totally perfect. Keep cleaning up your workspace. Now I want to make a point. And we Cover are the back. table. We are we back. are going to add we are going to add eight layers of paper mache to this mask right, right now. To this mask four right now. Vertical, eight layers. Four vertical. Four vertical. Four horizontal. Four horizontal. In strips. In strips. Okay. So I just wanted to stop and make that point in real time. That was an example of the real time video. Again, follow that playlist on YouTube. Subscribe so you can see it in real time. Because I talk the whole time through my projects. So notice how the table's covered and notice how I am scissoring the goop. I'm actually with my fingers getting goop off of each strip so it's not too wet. And I'm going vertical with one layer. 
and you're covering the entire mask, really press down in all of the corners. Notice how I wrote down one vertical. You have to keep track. You're going to forget what layer you're on. Layer two, horizontal, and you're really pressing down in the corners to unify the top and the bottom. Remember to scissor the goop off, meaning you're pushing all the goop off. One horizontal. Okay, now I'm on layer three. It takes much longer than this. Kid is crying upstairs. Don't worry, my husband's upstairs. Layer three, vertical. So this takes me like, it takes like a good like hour to do this whole like process that I'm going through, but it's sped up. Now I am on layer four, horizontal. So notice, Max, are you okay? Notice that we're going kind of like every other, like we're going vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, and notice how we're pressing down. I'm gonna say right now, I should have been drying my mask a little bit more because my mask ended up getting kind of wet, but you need it to be wet enough, it's a balance. So all of the layers unify. So here I am, layer six horizontal, and I keep writing on the side. Notice how messy the area is getting. Notice that I'm getting, did you just see that? I wanted to point out that I got slime on my watch. Take off everything you care about, okay? Like, so don't have your Apple Watch or whatever on when you're doing this. Okay, so you can see I'm finally on the eighth layer and I noticed that there that I was ruining my watch. But I'm on the eighth layer. You gotta wrap around the sides to make sure that you have the whole 3D mask. So sometimes I wrap strips all around the edge. Again, check the real time video out. That was kind of fast, but we're just going over the project overview. Okay, make sure you clean up, dry excess goop, remove your mask, clean up your workspace, clean up the dishes and spoons. And if you're a kid, I don't want your mom getting mad at me because you're leaving slimy dishes. So remove your mask. I wanted to show you, my dog was following me around. Look. Animals, they will eat your art project. They will eat your homework. So hide from animals. Um, I'm an art teacher and we do this project at my school and once rats like came and ate the art project because like flour is food. So they will eat that stuff. And then I'm checking it. This is me checking it and seeing if it's drying. You may want to get away excess layers. You don't need to cover it with um, aluminum foil. I was actually really worried about animals as you could see. You could like practice covering, but like find a safe space for it to dry, you know, cause it's gonna take a hot minute for it to dry. That's why in my class, we're doing this before the weekend. So the base layer has a whole weekend to dry and get hard. Now, if you can leave it in the sun, um, I was worried about animals. I shouldn't have been like actually leave it in the sun so it can dry. Now clean up the workspace. So you'll be happy you put paper down. Okay, because then you just pick the paper up, you throw the paper out. Okay, so make sure you clean, you wipe up the table, and then, yeah, leave it in the sun, okay, and clean the dishes. Don't forget, guys, don't forget. It's obviously clear that I want you to make your parents happy, or if you're a grown-up, obviously, make, your, make yourself happy. Hit subscribe, everyone! I'm an art teacher, I'm a mom, making these videos for my class, but why not give them to the world? And then check out the links below so you can make this cool mask project. I actually did this with my kids, like my uh, eight-year-old and my um, five-year-old, and they loved it. They loved this project. That I thought it was so cool. Cool for kids of all age, high school. So check it out. It's a really, really fun project. Bye now. Hit subscribe.